in a small village nestled at the foot of the mount kilimanjaro there lived a little girl named oninechi born under the light of a thousand stars oninechi was said to have a spirit as bright and fierce as the african sun her days were filled with laughter playing in the fields and chasing after the colorful butterflies that danced in the air but oninechi's idyllic childhood came to an abrupt end on her seventh birthday according to the ancient traditions of her tribe she was to be married off to a much older man from a neighboring village her parents banned by the customs and desperate to secure alliances reluctantly agreed oninechi though young felt the weight of the decision bearing down on her small shoulders the night before her wedding as the village celebrated with songs and dances oninechi slipped away into the darkness her heart pounding with fear and determination she had heard stories of the wise old woman nkole who lived deep in the forbidden forest it is said that nkole possessed magical powers and wisdom beyond comprehension desperate for help oninechi embarked on a perilous journey to find her the forest was a place of shadows and whispers every rustle of leaves and snap of twigs sent chills down her spine but oninechi pressed on her courage growing with each step she finally reached a clearing where a humble hut stood illuminated by the glow of a thousand fireflies uncle with her silver hair and eyes that seemed to see into oninechi's soul welcomed her with a knowing smile after listening to oninechi's plight nkole decided to help she brewed a portion from the rarest herbs telling oninechi that it would grant her the power to speak with the spirits of the forest with their guidance she could find a way to change her fate oninechi drank the portion and soon found herself in the company of the forest spirits they were a colorful array of creatures a majestic lion a cunning fox a wise owl and a graceful gazelle each spirit bestowed upon her a gift the lion gave her courage the fox gave her cunning the owl gave her wisdom and the gazelle gave her speed armed with these gifts Oninechi returned to her village. Just as the sun began to rise, the wedding preparations were in full swing. But Oninechi was not the same frightened girl who had left the night before. She boldly walked up to the village elders and challenged the old traditions. She spoke with such eloquence and conviction that the entire village was left in awe. She told tales of the spirits and their gifts, of the courage to break free from the chain of outdated custom and the wisdom to create new paths. The villagers, moved by her bravery and inspired by her words, decided to rethink their ways. They called off the wedding and allowed Oninechi to remain a child, free to play and learn. Years passed and Oninechi's story continued to inspire her village. She grew into a wise and courageous young woman, respected by all. One day, news spread that the neighboring village, once her intended home, was facing a great calamity. A drought had turned their fertile lands into dust, and the people were desperate for help. Oninechi, now a trusted advisor, in her village proposed a journey to help the neighboring village she believed that only by uniting could they overcome such adversities the elders remembering her bravery and wisdom agreed 
Oninechi led a group of the strongest and most skilled villagers toward the striking land. The journey was fraught with challenges. They crossed treacherous river, scaled rocky cliffs, and navigated dense forests. Along the way, Oninechi's memories of the forest spirit returned to her, guiding her steps and bolstering her resolve. One night, as they camped under the vast African sky, Oninechi had a dream. The forest spirit appeared to her once more, their forms shimmering with ethereal light. The lion spoke first, his voice a rumble of distant thunder. Oninechi, it said, you possess the courage to lead your people through these dark times. Remember the strength within you. The fox, with eyes glinting like stars, added, Use your cunning to outwit the challenges ahead. Solutions often lie in the most unexpected places. The owl, perched upon a branch, hooted softly. Wisdom will guide your decisions. Listen to the land and the people, for they hold the answers you seek. Finally, the gazer, graceful as a summer breeze, said, Speed and agility will be your allies. Act swiftly, but with care. When Odinechi awoke, she felt a renewed sense of peoples. The next day, they reached the neighboring village, finding its people weary and dispirited. Odinechi approached their leader, an elder named Okorafo, and offered him assistance. Okorafo, his face lined with worry, was skeptical at first. But as Oninechi spoke of unity and cooperation, his skepticism melted away. Together, they devised a plan to dig a network of irrigation channels to bring water from a distant river to their parched fields. The work was grueling, but Oninechi's leadership and the villagers' determination turned the tide. They toyed under the scorching sun, digging and building, their spirits lifted by the hope of a better future. Oninechi's own village sent supplies and more helping hands, reinforcing the bond between the two communities. One evening, as they walked under the setting sun, a rumble was heard. At first, they feared it was a storm, but soon realized it was the sound of water flowing through their newly built channels. Cheers erupted as the life-giving water coerced into the field, transforming the dust into fertile soil. The drought-stricken village celebrated Oninechi as a hero. Her bravery, wisdom, and unwavering spirit had not only saved them from famine, but had also forged a powerful alliance between the two villages. The story of Oninechi's journey from a girl destined for an unwanted marriage to a leader who unites people became legendary. In the years that followed, the villages prospered together, sharing resources, knowledge, and culture. Oninechi's tell spread far and wide, inspiring countless others to challenge the chains of tradition and seek their own paths. The union of the two villages brought prosperity, but as the years passed, a new challenge emerged. Word came of a powerful chieftain from the far northern land who sought to conquer and subjugate the smaller villages, consolidating power to form a vast empire. This chieftain, known as Sewa, was feared across the land for his ruthless tactics and immense army. One evening, as the village leaders convened under the starlight sky, a messenger arrived, his face pale with exhaustion and fear. He carried scroll from Sewa, demanding the village's submission or face annihilation. The message struck fear into the hearts of many, but Oninechi, now a woman of unshakable resolve, stood firm. We have faced drought and hardship, she declared. We have united and thrived. 
we will not bow to tyranny. We must prepare to defend our homes and our freedom. Inspired by her words, the villagers rallied. Oninyochi called upon her old allies, the forest spirits, seeking their guidance once more. In a sacred grove, she performed the ritual Nkoli had sought her years before. As the moonlight filtered through the trees, the spirits appeared, their presence as powerful as ever. The lion spoke first, his men shimmering like gold. Oninechi, you have proven your courage time and again. Now you must leave your people with the strength of a lion's heart. The fox, with a sly smile, said, Use your cunning to outsmart Sewa. He is strong, but arrogance blinds him. The owl, perched high on a branch, hooted, Wisdom will be your greatest weapon. Know your enemy and yourself, and you will prevail. The gazelle, stepping gracefully forward, added, Speed and agility will allow you to strike swiftly and retreat before him before you. With the spirit's blessings, Oninechi devised a plan. She knew that direct confrontation with Sewa's force would be disastrous. Instead, she opted for gorilla tactics, using the terrain and the elements of surprise to their advantage. The villagers strained tirelessly under Oninechi's guidance. They learned to move silently through the forest, to set traps and to communicate with secret signals. They crafted weapons from the resources around them, blending ingenuity with the knowledge passed down through generations. When Sewa's army finally arrived, they found the villagers seemingly deserted. But as they advanced, they were met with a series of ambushes. Oninechi's warrior struck swiftly and vanished into the forest, leaving chaos and confusion in their wake. The once invisible army found itself belegued and demoralized, facing an army they could not see or predict. Sewa, furious and desperate to crush the resistance, ordered his men to set fire to the forest, hoping to flush out the villagers. But Oninechi had foreseen this. She led her people through hidden tunnels and secret paths to safety. The forest spirits, angered by Sewa's desecration, unleashed their own wrath. Fierce winds and sudden dampers thwarted the invaders' plans, extinguishing the flames and sowing further disarray. In a final decisive encounter, Oninechi and her warriors faced Sewa in the heart of the forest. With the spirit's guidance, they outmaneuvered his remaining forces. Oninechi confronted Sewa himself, her presence a blend of regal authority and unyielding determination. You sought to conquer us with fear and force, she said, her voice resonating with power. But we are united by something stronger than your might, the spirit of our ancestors and the will to be free. In the ensuing battle, Sewa, blinded by his own rage and arrogance, fell to Oninechi's strategy. His forces, leaderless and broken, surrendered. The villages were saved, and the tale of their resistance became legend. Oninechi's victory solidified her status as a leader, not just of her village, but of a growing alliance of free communities. Her story, filled with bravery, wisdom, and the magic of the forest spirit, spread across the land, inspiring countless others to stand against tyranny. Years later, as an elder, Oninechi would tell her story to children gathered at the feet, their eyes wide with wonder. She would remind them that courage, wisdom, and unity could overcome the greatest of evils. And as they listened, the spirit of the brave little girl who once defied her faith lived on in their hearts, a beacon of hope and a testament to the enduring power of the human spirit.